guys, today we're going to make this cute little treat back for day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas. Super, super cute. It, I have some Lindor truffles inside, just a few of them. And um, I would love to show you how to make this, so let's get started. First, you're going to use our mini muslin bags. Love them. They come in a package of eight, and I'm just going to pull one out here. I've just taken a piece of chipboard and I've cut it down so that it will slide right into this bag and um, it will just give us a, a more sturdy stamping surface just like that and then I've chose to use this stamp set today the wishing you and I love the little presents and the sayings they're all so cute so I'm going to use the presents and the Wishing you a very Merry Christmas stamp. And I'm going to use a cherry cobbler and a gumball green marker and just color these in. When you look at our markers, there's a fatter in and a skinnier in. This would be our brush tip. And this is more like a writing pen. But you can tell by the way the lines are at the end or there's a picture. I'm going to be using the brush tip. I'm just going to huff on this to bring the ink, make the ink more moist again. And stamp. And you want to make sure to get good pressure and then just leave your stamp here for a second just so it can soak into that muslin. Just like that. Now I'll do the same with our words. Just like that. So easy. Okay, I'm going to take this um, piece of cardstock out, or chipboard, and set this aside. Next, we're going to move on to this word Mary. On this one, I did it in cherry cobbler. And okay, I'm, I'm going to cut the word Mary out from our um, Thin Lit collection. It comes with Thankful, Mary, and Love. And I have a piece of gumball green, and I just have a scrap piece of wax paper here. I'm going to bring in my magnetic platform, so magnetic platform, and then I need a cutting plate. Then I will lay down my green gumball green paper, my piece of wax paper, and then the word Mary. That piece of wax paper just helps to get the word unstuck from your card stock. And then I'll put a cutting plate on top. And I'm just going to run this through my Big Shot. Okay. And now it will just pop right out. Okay, and I'm going to set that aside. Next, I'm going to take our Cherry Cobbler uh, one inch stitched edge gross grain ribbon and I'm just going to tie a bow. Just trim this off my spool. Okay, I'm going to take some glue dots and just attach my bow. You could also use a hot glue gun or anything like that. Now I'm going to use one or two to attach my word Mary. And I'm just going to stick it up under my bow here a little bit. 
just like that. Now all that's left is to fill it with some candy. A few more of these Lindor truffles. Just like that. And there are our Christmas bags. Super cute. You could put these in a stocking. You could give these to your co-workers, maybe your kids' teachers. Super cute. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for stopping by, and happy stamping!